How are we doing guys? So in this video I'm going to show you how I made this cool locked on stabilization effect. I've used it myself a few times now in my videos and it can be one of those effects that's great to use in things like music videos or commercials. It mostly became big after that Beats commercial a couple of years ago I believe. So in actual fact the post editing part of this effect is pretty simple and a lot of it is just about knowing how to get the effect in the camera itself when you're filming. So we'll go through a little checklist of things that you need to know when shooting this clip. First of all, make sure you film a little bit wider than you normally would because in actual fact what's going to happen is you will end up scaling in or cropping in a little bit around the edges just to take away some of the black edges. Secondly, because of this fact, make sure you film in the highest resolution possible. So even if you're at looking to output in 1080, film the clip in 4K because it will give you that extra resolution to play with. Thirdly, try and keep your subject uh, in the center of the frame as much as possible. Fourthly, use a higher shutter speed than you normally would. So in video, we normally say go double your frame rate. So if you're filming in 25p, you'd be one over 50. For this, you probably want to be at least one over 100 if you're doing a 25p clip, um, possibly go even higher than that if there's a lot of movement as you want to try and minimize the amount of motion blur as possible. All right, so once you're here in After Effects and you've got your clip there selected, what you want to do is go to Animation up here, Track Motion, and then you've got Tracker Panel window over here on the right. And what you want to do is click on Stabilize Motion and it's going to give you a track point. Just open up the two boxes. You've got a box on the outside and a box on the inside. Basically this little box on the inside, if you just find a good high contrast point on the area that you want to stabilize around. So I want to stabilize around mainly the head and obviously the eyebrow is stuck to the head the whole time. And that is pretty good contrast point that I know will be in the shot the whole time. If I was going to go, the eye probably would be better, but I know that obviously he's closing his eyes as he's doing stuff so won't work uh, as well so yeah i'm going to use the most high contrast point on the eyebrow and then this little box in the middle can be quite precise around the eyebrow and the one on the outside is the search area that it uses if you make this box on the outside really big it will probably do a more accurate job um, but it will just take really really long the bigger the bigger you make it so you want to try and have a little bit of compromise there uh, so probably something around that would be okay I think wouldn't take too long and yeah once you've got that sorted um, just come down here as well to options and make sure in this little drop box here you've got stop tracking on when it confidence goes below 80% which will basically mean if the tracker is not sure where the eyebrow is anymore it will just stop uh, the tracking and then you can go in and manually adjust or stick it back on to where it's supposed to be um, rather than it just going through and messing it up and then all you need to do is come down here to where it says analyze and then you just want to analyze forward so if any time it does stop the tracking itself you can just go in there and just manually move the track point where it should be still on the eyebrow and then just press the play button again to analyze forward and once it's gone through and done everything just do a double check just do a little scroll all the way through just to make sure that it's sticking the whole time i think more than anything you just want to see that this outer box that's covering the head is going generally in the position that you want it to so if it does slip off the eyebrow a few pixels here and there it probably won't be noticeable as long as it in the main it's sticking around the head which it looks like it's doing and once that's done it's just as simple as pressing apply and a little box comes up apply dimensions just press ok and now essentially what it's done is it's just moved the anchor point around because that's what it's going to be stabilizing the whole clip around and if you play all the way through it's using that head eyebrow To move with the direction of the head which is wicked um, but as I mentioned earlier uh, it obviously will then cause black edges to come into the frame as it is moving around which is pretty easy to get rid of generally could just scale up quite a bit what I like to do is just go up here to layer new null object and it just creates this little 
thing that you can use to put information onto. So what you want to do is go down here to your clip, select this pick whip icon and drag it onto the null. And essentially what that means is now that this null has control over the movements of this clip individually to it. And yeah, like I said, this basically controls this now. So if I was to move this position property around, it will move it for the whole clip. And yeah, you just want to select uh, position and scale, scale in a little bit to start off with. I'm going to do like 10%, so 110 overall. And just go through and see where the you need to adjust the position. So you can see that the black edge starts to come in a little bit there. So just a little bit. And you just want to make small adjustments. You don't want to make really huge ones because that will just make the movement too big. So just make the adjustments as small as you can. You can see over here it's starting to come out. Just go through the whole clip and make adjustments. And every time you do that, it makes a keyframe for you. So you don't have to keep pressing this keyframe diamond all the time. And then, yeah, just go through just to make sure there's no edges. Finally, play all the way through. And as you can see, you've got your desired effect with the clip moving with the motion of my friend's head. Simple as that. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Check out some of these videos here if you want to see some more editing tutorials to create some cool effects and like and subscribe as always. I will see you in the next one. Take care.